Hello everyone and welcome to the Comexis Cast, all the news you need to know from our inbox to yours. Today we're talking about long form video coming to Instagram with the announcement of IGTV. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Matthew McGordy, the videographer and podcaster here at Comexis, and today I am joined by the lead strategist at Comexis, Philip Brooks. Hello. So today we're talking about Instagram and IGTV. Uh, one important stat to keep in mind before we, we start talking about the cool, cool new stuff that IGTV is, um, it's that Instagram actually just recently hit 1 billion monthly users, and that is a jump of 200 million uh, from September. September had 800 million and monthly users. So to say the least, Instagram is doing pretty well for itself <laughs> in terms of monthly users, to say the least. So IGTV, what is it? So IGTV is basically going to be a standalone app away from Instagram. And it's going to be kind of like YouTube in the sense that you can uh, create your own channel. Users, all users can upload longer form video content. So up to 10 minutes for a basic mm -hmm. account. And then some branded accounts, accounts that are really popular, are going to be upgraded to have video that is up to an hour, which is, I think, really interesting. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a yeah, that's huge a, time jump in comparison. A, yeah. Um, but it does, it does kind of offer some, some nice things in comparison to YouTube. Uh, users will also be able to subscribe subscribe to channels uh, or follow channels. I don't exactly know the, the terminology for it, but something like YouTube subscriptions. And so you'll be able to open up the app, you'll immediately start seeing video content, and then you'll be able to either go to some content creators that you follow, you'll hmm. be able to search. I'm assuming there'll be hashtag searches as well because uh, there's yeah, no reason there won't be. be. Yeah. Um, interesting, other some other cool stuff um, is that You'll also be able to add little descriptions to your videos, which will be able to include some YouTube links. So for those of you who aren't super Instagram-y, uh, Instagram does not let you have links in the description of your pictures or of your videos all the time. And anytime you want to add a link, you basically have to be a, a branded account that has access to that. Um, otherwise, you just can't do it unless it's the link in your bio. bio. So a lot of the times you'll hear link in bio or click the link in our bio, something like that. Like that um, and that's what is being referred to because they can't link directly so mm -hmm. this will actually let you do that which is really nice for influencers and, and other brands and stuff like that so so a lot of really cool stuff coming out of this um, so let me let me make sure <laughs> that I didn't miss anything from my my notes that I just sped through so um, one of the cool things uh, about this so first off it's really great for influencers influencers for a really long time Phil I've actually been asking Instagram to make video or allow them to make video that is longer than mm -hmm. a minute. So originally Instagram, 15 second videos, that got expanded to a minute, and now they're saying, hey, you know, let us do more long form content, right? So that's one thing that's really cool that they're going to be able mm -hmm. to do with this. Um, another really cool thing is the descriptions. So now you can actually send people somewhere if you happen to be a smaller influencer or a more niche sort of thing. Because um, I know, for example, I follow a lot of videographers, mm -hmm. obviously a lot of of them have huge followings, so they have right. no problem sending links. But I imagine if you're like a mommy blogger or a mm -hmm. mommy vlogger, you're going to have some. Yeah, I wonder there. what that threshold is. Is it, is it a thousand users? I don't even know what. I think for links, it might be the the ten thousand user months. limit for. Um, for that, mm -hmm. uh, just to obviously to stop spam accounts, right? Which, right, which right. makes sense. Um, but obviously, for this, because you're uploading video content, they're they're going to give you let you have some nice descriptions. Do you think it's fair to say that this is their they're basically their targeting of YouTube because Facebook, obviously, and then Instagram, and then if they have a video component, mm -hmm. now they can really stand against you know, Google and, and and YouTube. I think they're targeting YouTube definitely. I mean, they're effectively saying, hey, for those of you who are on Instagram, you. Know, you know, the thing with Instagram is if you wanted to make long form content, you had to go, here's a preview it on Instagram, Send go to YouTube, else, right. right? Or you post a, an Instagram story that is chopped up, like 50 chopped up 10 second clips, which is awful to try and, and go through, right? So I think this is 
going to be a competitor for YouTube, certainly. I don't think it's it's in the exact same sort of line because when I think of, well, I think of, you know, when I'm watching YouTube content, sometimes I'm watching it on my phone, but a lot of the times, you know, I'm sitting at home watching YouTube content, right? Um, or, or, or it feels like a, a more sit-down experience, at least for me. <laughs> um, whereas this is pushing that, that vertical video, the, the longer form video, but for basic accounts, you only have a 10-minute maximum, whereas you know YouTube, you can effectively go as long as you want, right? But I, I do, I definitely think it is targeting the audience that goes, I want to keep all of my stuff right, under my face. Instagram umbrella, yeah. and this is how I'm going to do it. Yeah, it almost seems like all of these platforms and brands are just becoming so homogenous, they're all going to wind up offering the exact same thing, mm -hmm. and you're just going to wind up having to pick which one you like the most. It's going to be, you know, yeah. it's, it's going to be Apple's going to do something, then Facebook and Instagram, and then it's going to be Google and YouTube. So th they all have these platforms that are coming together, mm -hmm. but all eventually seem to try to serve the same audience. I think, you know, one of the things that I miss about Vine, mm -hmm. even though it feels like a million years ago, was it was just it really forced people to be super creative in their yeah, short term absolutely. window. And there was a lot of really funny stuff on there. And I feel like when you give people a lot more to work with, you get a lot more, you know, you, you don't get as stuff that's as polished or it's very much like, you know, the separating the wheat from the chaff. But I do like that Instagram perhaps, probably is a little bit better about screening its user base. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so because it's attached to a Facebook account, you have a little mm -hmm. bit less of a chance of just getting the crazy trolls that you would get on YouTube, mm -hmm. which is you know the, those are that's like more size like spake sport of yeah. comments. <laughs> comments <laughs> you, so, you are correct. Yeah. So you don't want to go there. I, I just don't even scroll down. And um, so I think that's a very helpful. Uh, I just I think it's strange that they're, they're they're doing these increments of an hour. You know what's the difference between an hour? Who's if you're posting more than a, a content that's longer than an hour, mm -hmm. you're going to be a, you're going to be doing a, some sort of production. Yeah. So I mean it, at that point. You probably have the means to edit it down anyway. So. Yeah, I don't know the exact um, thought process behind the hour limit. I, if I had to take a guess, I would say they went, all right, we don't want people to have content that's like three hours right. long. So one hour just, it sounds nice. It's easy to I remember. Just, I, mean, I mean, given that it still, it still ultimately lives on a micro-blogging platform, nobody's going to watch an hour-long video on, <laughs> on Instagram, in my opinion, unless it's something that's really, really well done well, and it's, it's a television it's, program. It's a separate quality. app now. Yeah. So one thing that you guys can actually do, if you are watching this, you can go on Instagram right now or, or update Instagram and then go on it. And there's a little tab for you to check out IGTV content that has been created already in advance of this announcement. Mm. So you'll be able to check out kind of what it's going to look like, how it's going to feel, and stuff like that. But it is kind of going to be its own separate thing. So I, I, think, I think we can't always think of it as like, oh, nobody's going to watch an hour-long video on Instagram when it's its own standalone thing, so it's almost like, okay, are they gonna watch an hour long video on Instagram's YouTube right. competitor? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I get, I get that. I guess it's just, for me, i just wondering, like, you know, there's just, there's already so many so many outlets for this mm -hmm. type of creativity anymore. Like it's just like, what are they going to let you do differently than you can do anywhere else? Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm, that, that's kind of what it, it makes me wonder what the differentiator is going to be. So it's I mean, easy, just because they're attached to Facebook, you feel a little more comfortable with the brand. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I, I would say the biggest differentiator is the full screen. Well, not, not necessarily full screen. Is the vertical video that is full screen? And I say that because on YouTube, you typically are not uploading mm -hmm. vertical. Video Video, there's basically no reason to and mm. at the very least if you upload it natively you're not going to be able to expand it and look at it as a native video on as mm. a vertical video on YouTube you would have to actually turn, turn the, the entire thing right um, whereas on Instagram you're obviously getting that verticalness I think vertical video in a way is more engaging only because it feels like you're closer to the action mm -hmm. than horizontal videos that's personal opinion that I've noticed. Um, so I think that's probably the biggest thing, but I, I think it's also that you know, there's tons of people who, who don't necessarily want to upload stuff to YouTube who are on Instagram, mm -hmm. and it's just another umbrella extension. Yeah. So uh, one one important note, though, brands are eventually going to be able to advertise on this. I mean, brands can create content for it now, but in terms of actual advertising, that's going to be coming in the future. The Instagram has not talked a ton about what exactly that means yet, um, so we'll have to see exactly how that ends up panning out. This will be but, a, a, the next gold rush for influencers as they stru as they kind of all rush to the front on the line to try to get these long-term deals in places, long-form content deals in place with these from their Yeah, absolutely. And, and then a lot of uh, articles that I've been seeing are, you know, how is Instagram going to pay the creators 
um, for creating all of this content because YouTube, as much as it has problems and as many gripes that creators do have with the platform, at the end of the day, to some extent, at least creators are getting paid in some way. Yeah. So that is that is one thing. Uh, if you're interested in checking out IGTV, there's a lot of uh, influencers and other people who are on there. So for example, Lele Pons, Tyler Ninja Blevins, who's a, a Twitch streamer. Um, you can find stuff from Kim Kardashian West, Kevin Hart, National Geographic. I saw CNBC had some stuff posted up. So a lot of uh, a lot of content is already so out there. So that whole list, there's one that I might actually watch. <laughs> well, sorry, Phil. Yeah, this, is, this is not my, I'm interested not my in demographic. Of them. Um, so it's definitely something to, to check out. I think at minimum, it, it's really cool. I'm actually very excited for it. I'm looking forward to how we can use this for our clients, how we can use it for ourselves. I'm already thinking of all of the possibilities. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing a lot of really cool stuff coming out of this new platform. So that's all for us for today. Thank you for tuning in to the Comexus cast. Thank you, Philip, for joining me on the tape on the table, in the <laughs> sitting at the table. Yeah. I really want to say on I'm the couch adjacent every to time the, I say we're it. We're adjacent to the we're, table. We're adjacent to the, Thank you for joining me adjacent to the table. You guys can check us out on TuneIn, Stitcher, SoundCloud, iTunes, <laughs> and the Google Play Music Store. You guys can also watch us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, IGTV, and on the other platform that I'm forgetting, LinkedIn. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you guys can check us out, all of those on there. So thank you very much for tuning in or listening in, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.